This and that and what a fuck else, episode 135. That's a lot. There's a lot of information that I have published over the past eight or nine months. And uh, yes, sometimes the things that I have posted turned out to be incorrect. But that's the life that we are living. There's so much lies going on that you have to be actually supernatural not to be caught by a lie. And I've got at the end of this, I'm going to show you something that will make you think about that. The load shedding is playing havoc with my life. This past five days has been rough. Ten hours without power in a day. That is a lot, and uh, I'm struggling to keep up with all my videos, but we have to adapt to that. Let's start the day. Look at this image. In a salon, this would typically be entered in a portraiture section, and uh, I like the shot a lot. It's a pretty lady. The shot is composed well. And I like the use of the depth of field in this. For me, this is an easy eight. And then we get to my other favorite topic, the Vladimir region. Vladimir region of Blast is located in the center of the European part of Russia in the south of Volga Oka Interfluiv. Photos by Niger. I love Russia. Look at those images, it's a spectacular landscapes, I love it, enjoy the show. I would like it to walk around there and take some shots. And then we get to China, and on this I want to say something. First and foremost, most of us in the West are actually clueless what is the realities in China. I've listened to many podcasts and many debates where Chinese people were involved, and the lies that we are being fed about China is unbelievable. Just a few weeks ago, the Western press was all over telling us that those demonstrators about the pestilence is going to pull the Chinese government down. The reality is, in the end, it was 20,000 protesters with a lot of American money and American instigation behind them. 20,000 total in the whole of China out of a country with 1.5 or 1.6 billion people. Think for yourself, in a city of 45 million people, 10,000 protesters, doesn't make sense. But those same liars want to tell you a lot of stories about China's economy and they want to tell you a lot of stories about China's military and all of that. The reality is, this Ukraine war has revealed the real relationships in this world. And the relationship between China and Russia are being misconstrued by the Western press to fit their narrative. The reality is, China knows very well they are next in line. And they don't want Russia to be broken up and destroyed by the West. Because that will mean they've got the West on their borders. Think about that. Strategically, China cannot afford to allow the West to beat Russia. Well, fact is, the West can't beat Russia. We've seen that. My Nazi stalker came out with something last night and he told me with 
big fanfare. Turkey is joining the West against Russia. Uh, just look at that, and then about half an hour later, I saw a post in one of the news groups on Telegram about a telephone conversation between Putin and Erdogan. <laughs> I just laughed. I showed him the copy, and then he asked me, "How long ago was this?" Where in the first paragraph of what I showed him, it said, Erdogan thanked Putin for the aid with the earthquake. But in any case, let him live his life. He lives in a dream world. His world is the information that he has and stakes his life on comes from CNN and BBC. Now, at the Munich security meeting, the Chinese guys did not pull punches. The U.S. has no right to lecture on possible arms supplies to Moscow, Chinese Foreign Ministry. It is the American side, not the Chinese side, that constantly supplies weapons to the battlefields, who calls for dialogue and peace, and who distributes knives and encourages confrontation. The United States has no right to lecture China, and we will never allow the United States to dictate or pressure Sino-Russian relations, said the Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin. China says U.S. is not qualified to lecture on supplying arms to Russia. And that is a lot of truth. Where the hell does the U.S. come from? They and 40 other countries are pumping weapons into, the, into Ukraine, arming that Nazis. But they want to lecture China and they want to sanction China. The U.S., this sanction madness of the U.S. has run, it's, it's done its course. It's over. It's a joke. There's not a single country about in the world that is not under sanctions. And all those countries under sanctions are now grouping together and they have set up mechanisms to make it possible for them to grow their economies, to trade and do their things without America. Slowly but surely, the Biden administration has managed to isolate the West. Then we have this. China announced that it's ready to unite with Russian forces to firmly defend the national interest of the two countries, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of China reported. Now the West should pay attention to this. Now if there's anybody listening to me that has got it in his head that the U.S., can beat China and Russia. You have to think carefully. Think about it. The US will not even manage to beat Russia. And it is proven. And then there is this. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov meets Chinese counterpart Wang Wei in Moscow. And look at that image. Just look at that image. Those guys are comfortable. They are relaxed, and that's the end of the story. You look at pictures of Western leadership during the past week, they are in a flat panic. Their body language transmits the panic every time. And then Kim.com posted this. China enters the Ukraine disaster the West created for themselves. The unbalancing Russia plan of the U.S. deep state backfires. The two biggest low-cost arm producers in the world joined forces to unbalance the U.S. Russia and China combined a geopolitical nightmare for the West. And there's a lot of truth in that. And then there's just another post about China is ready to join forces with Russia to defend its national interests. The People's Republic of China is ready to join forces with Russia to decisively stand up for national interest and promote mutually beneficial cooperation in all areas. The West should take note. And then there was this cartoon. And look at that. Look at that. China-Russia relations. And look at that American. All his tools is broken. That cartoon is reality. And then we have this, and this is quite interesting. China, the PRC has successfully tested a new platform space weapon, 
that can suppress enemy missile defense systems before a nuclear strike. China's new system can also overwhelm missile, missile defense systems with false target signals from space. Listen to it, think about it, and that's it. And then we get to the Donbass. Once again, my Nazi stalker had a lot of stories about how great Zelensky is and all of that. But this is the reality. This is what Zelensky is doing with the Western provided weapons. And by definition, the West is actually doing this. Ukrainian military shells a supermarket in the Russian region. Belgorod Governor Gladkov said one person was left with a shrapnel wounds and was taken to the hospital in serious condition. And I just want to add, in another incident in Donetsk yesterday, they also fired HIMARS into the market and when the ambulance arrived to help the people, they fired another one in there and they killed four or six of the personnel on the, on the ambulance. The West is going to pay for this shit. Then we have this, the Ukrainian armed forces offered the residents to poison the Russians. The residents of the village Paraskovikvka told how they were saved from death by Russian soldiers, giving their lives in return. One of the women is the owner of a grocery store where the Ukrainian armed forces wanted to bring poisoned food for the Russian soldiers. Listen to this, guys. And you want to support the Ukraine. Then we get to this interesting education news. More than half of all American adults are functionally illiterate with, our, with reading and writing comprehension at or below 6th grade level. The American empire cannot last much too long. According to the U.S. Department of Education, 54% of U.S. adults since 16 to 74 years old, about 130 million people, lack proficiency and literacy, reading below the equivalent of the 6th grade level. That is shocking number for several reasons and its dollars and cents implications are enormous because literacy is correlated with several important outcomes such as personal income, employment levels, health and overall economic growth. This is a disaster for America. But the same shit is happening in South Africa. The ANC destroyed the education system. You must ask yourself why. And then we get to this idiot, and I cannot call him anything else, but listen to what he's saying. We are all fucked if Russia wins. Speaking in Berlin at the premiere of his documentary about Ukrainian President Zelensky, Hollywood A-lister Sean Penn argued that the US must shoulder shame for not sending arms to Ukraine more quickly. If you imagine what it is if Russia wins, we are all fucked, he added. Just dead fucked. Whatever it takes to keep U.S. troops out of Ukraine, ultimately we will do. So why not now? I cannot, I can say a lot about this, but I'm not going to say a lot. This guy is an idiot and let him carry on. He was the fucker that gave his Oscar to Zelensky. And then we get to this. Iraq's central bank plans to allow trade from China to be settled directly in Chinese yuan for the first time. And in attempt to improve access to foreign currency. This is something that is happening all over the East. More and more trade outside the dollar. Think about it. The ramifications for the dollar is serious. And then we get to the Russian hypersonic missile equipped frigate arrives in South Africa for joint China drills. Russia's flagship frigate Admiral Gorskov, equipped with the hypersonic Zircon missiles, has arrived in South Africa to participate in joint military drills with China due to start Friday. Gorskov carried out strike capability tests last month in the Atlantic. Its Zircon missiles have a range of 900 kilometers and can travel at several times the speed of sound, making them almost impossible to defend against. Now, there's a lot of... Uh, People in South Africa, especially from the DA side, that has got a lot to say about these joint exercises. I myself have no problem with it and it's a good thing. The reality is this, our fleet has been destroyed by incompetence 
and this is the fact that we are part of that exercise is more tokenism than anything else. But I think the Chinese and the Russians are sending a message to the West with this exercises. And then we get to this. Venice canals run dry as Italy faces a new drought alert. Experts have raised concerns that Italy could face another drought after last summer's emergency as dry winter weather deprives the region of precipitation. The famous city of Venice where floods are the primary concern is seeing its canals wither, leaving local gondolas simply resting at their bottom. My question to the Greenies is this, with all the rising of the sea levels, how the fuck is this that the canals are running dry? Explain that to me. And then there's some, this interesting piece of information. Discover the Chara Desert, the most northern desert on the planet, Eat Earth and located in the middle of the si Siberian taiga. I was absolutely amazed when I read this and I watched the video. Cannot believe it, in the middle of that dense Siberian forest, in the middle, sits this desert with huge dunes. There's so much that we don't know about Russia. And today I'm not going to give you a what a fuck. This is a combination what a fuck. Listen to this. Meet Instagram model Alice. She's not like all the other Instagram models. She's 100% AI generated. She posts pictures of herself every day, but she doesn't exist in the physical world. Would you know she wasn't real if she came up in your feed? Look at that. There's a close-up. What a pretty girl. And while you're looking at it, remember this. This is not real. This is a computer-generated model. And that is our lives. We are surrounded by lies. Have a great day. And thank you for your support. Please like and subscribe and share the thing. It is important, the likes and the sharing. Thank you.